Yo, what's going on YouTube? Just Jake here and welcome back to my channel for another GTA 5 video. And in today's video, we're going to be customizing and reviewing the brand new Vicer Neo. Uh, as far as I'm aware, this has just been released into GTA Online. Um, so, this is still going to be made on PC. So, I've modded this in. Um, apparently, as far as I'm aware, this car is going to cost $1.875 million. Um, that's just going on um, information that I've had before this car was released so if I'm wrong on that forgive me um, this is in the sports category which is awesome even though it kind of looks like it, it belongs in the supercar category but nevertheless it's all gravy um, kind of looks like an Aston Martin cross with a bit of a Corvette as well uh, it's a very interesting looking car um, be interesting to see what sort of customizations we can do to it uh, but like I said this car was released today I believe um, and I was planning on doing this video anyway as an unreleased car <laughs> but Rockstar beat me to the punch um, so this car is currently just being released in GTA Online so you can go and purchase it and like I said the information I've got is it's going to cost you 1.875 million dollars um, hopefully that is correct I'm not 100% sure because I haven't looked on the Southern San Andreas or the Legendary Motorsport wherever this is going to be sold it is going to be one of those um, so yeah, man, let's crack on with this build. Let's jump into this Voice and Neo, go into the custom shop and see what sort of customizations we can do. So, again, my dudes, as you pull into LS Customs, you'll see the Voice and Neo is in the sports category, like I've already said. And to start this build, as always, we're going to go to the armor and purchase 100% body armor. Then we're going to go to the brakes. We're going to get the race brakes for the bumper, front bumper. We do get a nice amount of options for the front bumper, which is cool. But what I'm looking at, it says split. It doesn't actually say bumper. So, um, it looks like we're just going to get split options for uh, the voice and Neo, which is a little bit disappointing. Um, but that's what you come to expect with a lot of the modern DLC vehicles in GTA. You don't really get many customization options um, other than splitters. You know, um, what we really need is some more Benny's vehicles. That's what we need um, if you like customization. But um, you can't really grumble. Rockstar is still pumping out DLC for this what six year old game so it's awesome still anyway let's carry on and i am going to purchase a split because i make it I've, I, I make it i think it makes it look a little bit meaner a little bit better and um this one here the carbon race splitter is my favorite so we're going to go with that bad boy then we'll go with the rear bumpers only three additional options and nothing really changes just this custom diffuser is the one that's the most noticeable change except for this one we'll go go with a custom diffuser then we've got the engine we've got the air filters which is pretty cool because obviously it's, a, it's an engine that you can see from the outside of the car um, so it's nice that they're giving you an option to be able to customize that um, these V8 ones look pretty sweet and what one am I going to go for? I think I'm going to go with the secondary painted V8 yeah man that's pretty cool I like the look of that so we're going to go with that one then we've got the engine tunes we're going to get the level 4 engine upgrades then we've got the exhausts so if I just accelerate for a little while apologise for the noise if you can hear it the reason I'll do it is so we can obviously clear that smoke and we can actually see what the exhausts look like so then we've got the uh, sectioned exhaust then you've got the infinity they look weird man what the fuck it doesn't look like there's any depth to them whatsoever really odd um, same with the titanium ones, the aluminium ones are exactly the same. And then we've got the ex expansive. That one looks pretty cool, I suppose. Uh, the bolstered, that looks awesome. I uh, like the big balls, they're always a winner. Ah, oh, the triple painted, they look pretty cool too. Um, what the fuck is that? <laughs> and they're all working as well. That is awful. Really dislike them ones. Uh, my favourite were the triple I think uh, I think they look pretty sweet so we'll go grab them we've got the grill we've got a custom grill I love that love the custom grill then we've got the carbon which is obviously the one I'm going to go with because it matches the splitter and I can't imagine any of these are going to be better than that even though that's pretty cool I like the performance grill man that's, that actually looks really nice and um, get a carbon version of that as well um, so the carbon that's awesome as well so the carbon um Race grill was was a good one, but then I like the carbon open mouth. Also, uh, oh man, two very nice looking grills. See, I did initially think, yeah, straight away I'm gonna go with that one because I 
absolutely love the look of that. And it's you unusual that when you have to um, make a choice between two customization options in um, modern GTA, but this one looks pretty fucking sweet, and I I think I like it a little bit nice, a little bit more than this one. So we're going to go with a carbon performance grill. Then we've got the hood, so we can remove the the vents, uh, make it carbon, give it extra vents. Wow, that's pretty cool. I like the sports hood. That's nice. Uh, the inset hood's also pretty sweet. The performance hood's good. Some nice options for the hood as well. Um, I think the inset is probably my favourite. Yeah, we could go with the inset. Then we've got the hood catches. We can have classic or we can have modern. We're going to go classic. It's always good having classic. Then we've got the lights, headlights, and we're going to purchase the Xeon headlights. Liveries, probably won't purchase a livery because liveries on this, these types of vehicles all normally look a little bit funky. And um, definitely race liveries is a no-no on these vehicles. Why even do it? Not my sort of thing whatsoever. So I'll show you, but I won't be purchasing any of them. Uh, the only ones which aren't a race livery the black stripes and they look like shit so we're gonna <laughs> skip past all the liveries uh, skip the play respray uh, primary color we're gonna go metallic are we gonna go metallic yeah we're gonna go metallic and I'm feeling like a silver dark steel maybe that's pretty sweet metallic dark steel yeah let's go with that it looks awesome secondary metallic also and it is the roof at the top I think that looks pretty cool in black Let's quickly go to the dark steel. See how that looks. I think we a color coder or or not. What about white? Mm, nah, not a fan of that. I think black looks pretty cool. So we're gonna go with black metallic for the secondary color. Then we've got a trim option, which is also pretty sweet. And we'll go dark steel with that. Matches the outside. Awesome. Then we've got roof. So we can get the vortex generators, more vortex generators, <laughs> uh, more vortex generators. Oh, we've got these roof wedges, very, very strange looking things. And then we've got the roof wedge with the vortex generators, which is called a racing roof kit. Um, yeah, not a fan of them. I think I'm going to go with the secondary vortex generators, and then they obviously match the color of the roof. We've got side skirts, and we get like a little extension, secondary extension. Uh, the carbon gt skirt and then the carbon gt aero skirt which oh i see it adds a little bit at the front there as well um yeah what the fuck not let's go with the aero skirt then we've got the spoilers we've got a low level tuner uh sports street aero uh quadded drag a gt xl gt and that's it I'm not blown away by any of the spoilers to be honest and I think spoilers on these types of vehicles look a little bit weird um, so I ain't going to purchase one next we've got the transmission we've got a super transmission we've got turbo tuning then for the wheels see the wheels on this are awesome and I don't think that Rockstar have a better set of wheels in the aftermarket uh, so I'm going to be a little bit boring and I'm going to stick with the stock wheels because they look fucking sweet and then to finish off the build as always we'll go and grab a light smoke window tint so let's get this out onto the streets and see how it looks in the daylight and as it pulls outside you can see that this vehicle is fucking beautiful really really nice looking it's very different to a lot of the things in GTA as well which is nice it's very much like an Aston Martin from the front um, that rear the rear is, from the side at least, is shaped very much like a Corvette. Um, that just looks really nice. It's just a mashup of a couple of different vehicles, but it works. <laughs> works really, really well. So the looks of this vehicle is definitely a plus. Uh, customizations aren't great, but they're better than a lot of the vehicles that we've had so far on well, the customization videos that I've made anyway. You get quite a few options for customization. But nothing crazy, you know, nothing that is going to wow anybody really. And then um, speed-wise, it feels very fast in the in the, in the the straights. So this is definitely going to be one for the sports car races. 
Um, it might even be, you know, one of the fastest in its class by the feel of it. It does feel really, really quick. But as you can see, that's it's got that weird handling file um, where the suspension is really bouncy. Um, and I, I really dislike that file. I hate it. Hate's a strong word, and I fucking hate that advanced handling file because it is ridiculous. Um, because you know, taking corners is awesome. It feels really light on the steering. It feels like it can um, bop and weave. But as soon as it hits a bump, that is it. Game over, man. Because you can't just chuck. You see how it just chucks it in the air and it just loses control and. Yeah, I just wish Rockstar never put that into the game because it just ruins a lot of vehicles in the <laughs> ruins a lot of vehicles um, that file because it's it's the quick cars, the ones that are fast in a straight line, the ones that actually could do well in the corners but can't do well in the corners because if you hit a bump, it's gonna chuck you up in the air and you're just gonna lose control. So um, that's the only downfall to this car, in my opinion. Is that advanced handling file where where your suspension is just crazy bouncy, bouncy. and um, you know it's, it's a hindrance more than more than a, more than an advantage, and this really that is really disappointing because this vehicle is fucking sweet looking. You've got nice customization. It's, just, it's quick, it's light on the steering, but the handling is you know it's, it's not much to be desired. So um, really think about purchasing this vehicle before you shell out like nearly 1.9 million dollars on it because i don't think it's going to be worth it um not for that sort of money anyway that is fucking crazy crazy money um for a car which is going to struggle around a track in my opinion anyway if you're really good at racing and you know how to handle um these cars with that ha um, advanced handling file implemented then sweet, it might work for you. But if you're a novice driver, you're not very good at GTA in races and you want to take this car out racing, um, I think you're going to struggle. Um, but other than that, it is a pretty cool car. It looks nice. It's got nice customizations. It's fast. It's just that handling which lets it down. Um, but with that being said, guys, that's going to be the end of the video. hope you guys did enjoy. If you did, please smash that like button. If you haven't already, why not subscribe to my YouTube channel for more GTA 5 content. And until next time, guys, I am out. Adios. Adios.